there is a very special connecting link between the mother and the growing fetus. Well, as the fetus grows, means when it is eight weeks old, then fetus has its own requirements. The requirements are for food, for oxygen, and the removal of some unwanted substances like nitrogenous waste products, right? Like carbon dioxide, it needs to be removed. So to fulfill that requirements of the growing fetus, there is a connecting link between the mother and the fetus. And that connecting link between the mother, or I'll say a baby, is this placenta. Well, this placenta is actually a disc-like structure. This disc-like structure is formed by the interlocking of the villi. Right? Villi are the hair-like projections. This is formed by the interlocking of the villi. There are two sets of villi. One set of villi is projected out from the uterine wall. It is projected out from the uterine wall. And the other set of villi is actually from the extension of allantois layer. It is from the extension of allantois layer. So these two villi from the uterine wall and the allantois, they, in, they actually interlock themselves. They do not open into one another. They just interlock. Don't open into one another, just interlock. So this is how this this shaped structure that is placenta is formed which forms actually a major connecting link between the mother and the growing fetus, the growing baby. So as you can see, we have artery and we have vein. What is this artery going to carry? This artery carries deoxygenated blood away from the fetus. It carries deoxygenated blood away from the fetus, the blood that is going to contain the waste products and carbon dioxide. So from this artery, the fetus is going to get rid of the waste products, so nitrogenous waste and the carbon dioxide, right? So this artery carries what? Deoxygenated blood. And this vein, vein is going to bring oxygenated blood to the fetus. It is what? It is going to bring oxygenated blood to the fetus. So this is how the placenta functions. Now you can see this structure, this, this is the umbilical cord. This umbilical cord is actually connecting the fetus with the placenta, right? Now this umbilical cord has this network of these arteries and veins that we have discussed, right? You have discussed that arteries are going to bring the deoxygenated blood away, they are going to take the deoxygenated blood away from the fetus and the vein is going to bring oxygenated blood to the fetus. So this is how this placenta is going to function. Now if we talk about the placenta as a whole, this placenta has many roles to play. The very first, uh, we'll just divide the roles. What does placenta brings from mother to fetus and what does placenta takes from fetus to mother? So I'll just, you know, explain it here. What does placenta brings from mother to fetus and what does placenta takes from fetus to mother. First of all, from mother, the placenta brings in oxygen, right? Oxygen is required for the growing fetus, it brings in oxygen. Then glucose, amino acids, lipids, glycerol, minerals, now these minerals such as we have sodium, potassium, calcium, chlorine, certain antibodies, right? Then what does this placenta takes from fetus to the mother? That is unwanted substances obviously that the fetus wants to get rid of. Number one, it is carbon dioxide. It is carbon dioxide, then urea and other waste products, right? So this is the function of placenta. Placenta, as I told you earlier, it forms a connecting link between the mother and the growing fetus, the growing baby. And what does it do? It brings these substances to the fetus and 
takes away these substances from the fetus and you can see that this artery is going to what it is going to carry it is going to carry the deoxygenated blood away from the fetus right and this vein is going to bring in oxygenated blood to the fetus this is how this happens now in case of placenta as I told you that these are the functions of the placenta so this actually occurs by a process that we call as diffusion these substances can actually diffuse right and in this case in the case of diffusion there are the chances of the diffusion or of the entry of the HIV virus that is why it is necessary to actually get the HIV test done before before you can say you continue with the pregnancy why so because if through the placenta the HIV virus can infect the fetus because the mother is already infected then the fetus may not survive so it's very important that we get the HIV test done when there is the case of pregnancy right then why why do we need this placenta why don't we have a direct contact of the mother's blood with the fetal blood well there is very 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 important answer to this the pressure of the mother's blood is sufficiently quite high so if that blood is going to come in contact with the blood of the fetus then this can lead to swear problems why because this can damage the soft tissues the soft organs that are developing in this eight week old embryo that we call as the fetus because now in this case it's a, it's an eight, eight weeks eight weeks old baby so this it, this is going to lead to the formation of the organs so if there is direct contact of the blood from the mother with the fetus as I told you the pressure is high in the mother's blood so this can damage the soft tissues in the fetus so that is why this disc shaped structure this placenta is very important for the baby then secondly the placenta actually acts as an endocrine gland also the gland that is going to secrete hormones and what are those hormones that are secreted they are estrogen and progesterone they are estrogen and progesterone so if the urine sample contains this hormone that is progesterone then many tests are done with the help of the urine sample right related to pregnancy of course so this is how this placenta forms a connecting link between the growing fetus and the mother I've told you what does the placenta brings to the fetus and what does placenta takes away from the fetus as the fetus has its own need it needs food it needs oxygen but it does not need co2 it does not need urea it does not need waste product so the fetus needs to get rid of it so the proper growth and the development of the fetus this placenta this tissue which is formed which is actually forms a connecting link is very important for the well development and the growth of the fetus